this presentation will cover deliberative democratic evaluations as well as utilization focused evaluations. Deliberative democratic evaluation falls under the social agenda and advocacy evaluation umbrella, which seeks to ensure social justice. Howes and Howe deem these three main dimensions essential in deliberative democratic evaluation. The purpose of a deliberate democratic evaluation is to employ democratic participation in the process of arriving at a defensible program assessment. In this approach, the evaluator determines the questions to be addressed, but does so through dialogue and deliberation with the engaged stakeholders. Dialogue and deliberation are considered relevant throughout the evaluation process. Howes and Howes cite 10 key questions for assessing the adequacy of a deliberative democratic evaluation. In this approach, the bottom line questions concern judgments about the program's merit and worth to the stakeholders. Ernest House is considered the originator of the deliberative democratic evaluation approach. Together with Kenneth Howe at the University of Colorado Boulder, the two professors continue to advance the research of this approach. This approach works well when a funding agent is willing to give up sufficient power to allow input from stakeholders. Stakeholders in return must be willing to engage in open and meaningful dialogue at all stages of the study. This approach has many strengths. The approach makes a direct attempt to make evaluations just, incorporates the views of all interested parties, ensures democratic participation of the stakeholders at all stages. The evaluator has the right to rule out any unethical or incorrect inputs and renders a professional judgment at the end of the evaluation. House and Howe acknowledge that the approach needs further development and testing. They have found that at times the approach can be unrealistic and cannot be fully applied. They have also found that evaluators are seldom able to achieve their full goal. Deliberative democratic evaluation has been used in a preschool evaluation of Icelandic preschools. Eclectic evaluation approaches are those which apply pragmatic approaches using a wide range of other approaches. Patents utilization focused approach is the most highly developed and widely used. The advanced organizers of the utilization focused evaluations are users and the uses to be served. The client group tells the evaluator how the evaluation should be conducted. The client group identifies the type of report, if any, they wish to be provided at the end of the evaluation. The evaluator must emphasize to the intended users that the evaluation's purpose is to give the users information needed to fulfill their objectives. These objectives may include an array of socially valuable aims. This slide lists typical orienting questions. Questions generated may address a range of concerns and may change over time. Evaluation methods are fair game in a utilization-focused program evaluation. Patton is considered to be the leading proponent of utilization-focused evaluation. Patton describes his utilization-focused evaluation approach as universally applicable and can be tailored to meet any program evaluation assignment. This approach gives the evaluator the ability to select an evaluation technique to best fit the evaluation. Patton's evaluation approach reflects the re multiple realities of programs. The utilization-focused approach is associated with integrity and adheres to the program of evaluation standards. Patton's approach is geared toward maximizing evaluation impacts. The evaluator involves and uses a primary group to promote the use of findings. The approach also values clarification and pays close attention to contextual dynamics. Patton believes the main weakness in this approach is the turnover of involved users. This approach is also vulnerable to corruption as well as bias by user groups. Another limitation of the approach is that not many evaluators are sufficiently trained and experienced to meet the demands of this approach. Utilization-focused evaluation has been used to evaluate foster care programs. Both evaluation approaches offer the opportunity for interested stakeholders to participate in the evaluation process. In each, the evaluator dialogues with the stakeholders about their goals. In the deliberative democratic approach, the evaluator issues a final report and makes final judgment or judgments on the program's merit and worth. Whereas in the utilization focused approach, the users determine if a final report is to be issued and what type. 
In my opinion, the deliberative democratic evaluation model is the best model for evaluation of the RUPUS program. This model gives the evaluator the ability to rule out unethical and or incorrect inputs from the stakeholders. The evaluator will deliver a defensible assessment of the program's merit and worth at the conclusion of the evaluation process.